Well, hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Back with another mail route, right? Another mail day. Another day of. Oh, exactly. Okay, folks. Listen to the radio. Today, the floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve: returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Be kind and rewind. And now on to today's weather. Be kind and rewind. Here we are. We're actually at Angie's place at 351 Main Street. So we guys should talk to more about or more with Angie here. Um, and we can tell Angie, hey Angie, um, you know, we, we actually watched that movie last night and it was better than I thought. And uh, maybe, maybe, hopefully it's better than we thought, right? But uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and talk to Angie and let her know that we have a package for her. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter yeah. in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? Not about mail delivery at all. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Smoldering might be a little exaggerated. No, no, no. We'll, 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 we'll agree with her. We'll say, yeah, she's great in it. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> Police Academy. Okay, like... I'm afraid you're right. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Keep finding my VCR and or keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, well, why are we whispering now? Oh. We're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Oh. Um. Uh, is that the plan or like a date? Well, we don't want to be like too, like, you know, we don't want to like, I don't want to embarrass her, right? So is that the plan? Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? Uh, yeah, I'm in. All right, I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. All right. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. Oh. It's 102 New Street, right? Uh, <laughs> inviting yourself over. Uh, that's quite uh, impertinent. Imp oh my lord. Impertinent. 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 I can't pronounce stuff. I really can't. But at the same time, how did she find that out? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in oh the my Rolodex. God. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, well, uh, I guess, but we can't just meet up at the din at the diner. Um, well, no, 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 let's not ruin her plans. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. All right, so five, she's inviting. <laughs> like, it is kind of funny and silly in a way, because it's like, like going up to someone and be like, hey. This is my second time meeting you, but uh, I have like some, you know, I have, a, I, have a, I have a plan, right? I have a plan, right? Thank you. But what's the plan? Well, the plan is simple. We have to go somewhere so we can talk about the plan. Okay, where are we meeting at? We're meeting at your house. But this is the second time we've met. Yeah. Yeah, we're meeting at your house, and I know exactly where you live. Kind of weird now saying it out loud to myself, right? All right, well, it's fine. We have... A plan I don't want to say a date because I don't know maybe a plan with Angie at our house at five what the heck is this driveway dude <laughs> it's a little awkward they couldn't just make it all pavement they just had to leave that little tiny strip of grass there that must be a pain to try to mow but that's all right yeah so uh, um, thank you guys so much for the huge support right huge support for Lake um, I really enjoy playing these games, and it's awesome to think, it's awesome to see that you guys enjoy um, 
watching these kinds kinds of games. So, yeah, it's just all good around. It's a good mix up. It's a good vibe. Sometimes we do simulation games. Uh, sometimes we do storytelling games, and I'm all for it. Right? I'm all for it. Now, where is this at? 302 Jackson Street. Right here, right? Is this our mail? Yes. All right, so we'll go ahead and stick that right on in there. It looks like that looked like actually like a postcard. <laughs> you ever like go on vacation, right? And uh, I don't know, maybe the people do this. I don't know, but like you go on vacation and then like you're saying bye to friends and family. Maybe, maybe you're not. Some people do. Like, oh, I'm leaving next week. You know, uh, I'll see you in a week or so whenever you come back. And sometimes they'll say like, oh, send me a postcard. Now. Growing up in a uh, in a digitalized world like this that we live in now, I mean, it's easy to say, here's a text message or here's a picture of me where I'm at, at you know, freaking Del Boca Vista. <laughs> um, but, like, back then, right? I, I, I got that, right? I, I probably understood that. Like, back then, it's like, hey, send me a postcard. Because, you know, once you get there, you, you, you send a postcard, and it's like, oh, I'm at Del Boca Vista. I know Del Boca Vista is a Seinfeld thing, but um, <clears throat> but then I guess, like, during the time, I guess, while you're gone for that week, I mean, the person that you send the postcard to, they get it when you get home, like, a week. It's, I would assume it'd take a week for the postcard to get to wherever it's going, right? I don't know. I always found that silly. Um, even today, like, my grandmother... Uh, she, she's not like old, like she's not really old or anything. She's like 60, 65. She's 65. Yeah, she's 65. My grandmother is, yeah, young family. And uh, sometimes she'll be like, when we go, when Danielle go on, Danielle and I go on vacation, she's like, send me a postcard. And one time we actually sent her a po postcard, right? And um, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we, we, we grabbed a postcard, right? We filled it out in our hotel room. And then we, uh, you know, we, we put it in the mailbox in the hotel. And we didn't say anything. Oh, this is a package, sorry. 102, 102 Pine Street. We, um, <laughs> we sent the postcard out and we didn't say anything. We didn't text or anything. This actually happened like a couple of years ago. And uh, we expected to get a text from her being like, oh, I got your oh, postcard. How sweet. I thought. Right? And it didn't happen. It never happened through that trip. So we got back home and we're like, hmm, she asked for a postcard, but she didn't say anything about receiving the postcard. And I'll get to that here in a sec. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. All right, we'll just leave it there. Yeah, so she, uh, we got back from our trip and we never heard any word from her saying, you know, thank you, maybe thank you for the postcard. Oh, I got your postcard or received your postcard. So a few days later after we got back from our trip, we went and saw her and we're like, hey, did you like the postcard? And she says, what postcard? <laughs> and I was like, uh, the postcard, I don't know, we sent you a postcard when we were on, when we were away, because you said to send you a postcard. And she says, well, I never got it. Or I never got one. And we're like, okay. Anyways, a week later, so it was like two weeks in time. I don't know what happened in the mail, but like two weeks in a span, she texts us and she's like, I got your postcard. It's so exciting. It's so amazing. It's so like it's so awesome to see like how like how exciting they were or how excited she was to get a postcard. But I was like, I could have just sent you a text and been like selfie, and maybe that would have meant more because you could have saved it in your phone or you could print it out at Costco or something like that. But yeah, it's just funny. Postcard always like, same thing like with the pager. Like I wish I grew up in the in the in the in the time where people had pagers like back in the 80s back in the 90s right um like yo check my pager like I, I would love to have a pager on my waist belt but now we have cell phones right <laughs> now we have cell phones hi there mr Mackey. how's mortimer oh good day meredith mort's fine as i expected it was just a little indigestion good oh, night's good. rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good excellent Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. No more cupcakes. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Uh, well, you know, um, I'm having fun, yeah. I'm having fun, yes. 
Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Nice. All right. Uh, so something actually exciting happened yesterday, and I forgot to actually mention this. I don't even know if I should be talking about it or anything, but... Um... You know what? I, I don't think it will matter if I talk about it or not. I don't think anybody's going to be like anyone from the, any production is going to come after me. Because, let's be honest, I'm not the biggest fish in the sea, right? Um, so, something incredible happened that actually reminded me as I was talking about my grandmother. Like I said, she's, a, she's about 65 and so, and uh, she owns a, you know, she owns a property up in, um, up in a, in, up in a rural area, right? A rural area, a small town. Uh, surrounded by trees and, and, and all that. But she was approached by a production company um, who was in the middle of filming, uh, making a movie. And uh, she actually told us the news about this a couple days ago. And she says, guys, you won't believe it, but a production company came up to me and they saw some of our, because she owns like a lot of antique stuff and, uh, and all that and like, old gas pumps and stuff like that back in like the 60s 50s 70s and the production company saw this and they're like we would like to rent this out right we would like to rent out your stuff for our movie right and so we were like whoa that's actually you know that's that's pretty cool that's a big deal and everything um so this production company came to my grandmother and she says you know what they said you know what we will we will we would like to rent out your stuff we will put you in our movie if you let us do it and we will pay you two hundred dollars each to be in the movie right kind of cool and i'll get into more detail here as we uh after we uh talk to i forgot her name here in moe's diner but we'll we'll talk more about that here in a sec well hello there hi maureen i'm maureen hi, hon. how are you doing this fun day I'm fine, but uh, how are you in the kitchen? How's the kitchen doing? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. It's gonna happen again. Meredith Wise, back in no? Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? Well, being back feels a bit strange. It's actually, it's, it's all right, actually. It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? Oh, uh, well, um, it was a bit weird seeing her again. I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I think it went okay. We'll just say I think it went okay. Uh, I mean, she, Kay, come, uh, she works here. So, I mean, she, you know, all these women, you know, rumor, 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 you know happy happy mouths that's what danielle says and and stuff like that because she works with a bunch of you know girls and women I and all that went okay i can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you especially after being away for so long then again there are some things that never change right well this diner sure did well this diner sure did glad you noticed <laughs> I like what you did with the place. It looks different from how I remembered it. Even the name changed. Um, well, yeah, even the name changed. Even the name changed? Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. Uh -oh. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Uh, stand died. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stand died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Wow. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's very, that's very true. Um, yeah, it's very true after like experiencing a death, a close death of my own, you know, a couple months back. But um, yeah, that's really inspiring. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did for me, but also for Kay. 
She took her uncle's death pretty hard. Uncle? Really? Huh. I wish I, I, I wish I had known. I wish I'd known. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face! I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? You know, um, they might have. Uh, no, I'm not going to say I've been too involved with work. Um, I'll just say I can't recall. I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hun. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. Wow. I think seeing you again shook her up a little was all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can just pick up where we left off. It was good to see her again. I have missed her too. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's Excuse me? too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. And I think that's a fair, um, that's a fair thing to say. Uh, says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. Oh, you gotta bring a little bit of sarcasm with it, right? <laughs> says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. I have a, I have a feeling I'll be back soon. Uh, well, that's no good. I expect my pie next time. Uh, don't worry. I didn't feel like having pie anyway. Uh, no, I have a feeling I'll be back soon. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. So it is a fair thing to say. Like, uh, what she said is very true. It's like, don't forget what is important in life. And that is a huge huge um i say it's a huge thing to say which yeah i get it's not it's not like massive but i guess internally it's huge right i don't know to me i feel like something like that being said everybody needs a reminder what's important in life right and uh, i don't know it hits different for some people some people they just you know brush it off like no big deal but for me not so much Anyways, we'll get back to what I was talking about earlier, about this whole movie thing. So yeah, my grandmother rents out this uh, gas pump, rents out a few areas that she has on her property for this movie to be th shot and filmed. And well, she did a little bit of snooping. Uh, they, they're very tight-lipped. This isn't, this isn't the first time like my family um, has been a part of a production company or rented out to a production company. Uh, my mom, I think, did it last year. She rented out her store for uh, for a production company to, to make a film. Uh, so this isn't like, like, I guess they know what to expect, right? They know what to expect. Like, it's very hush-hush, tight lip about the, the movie, the screening, uh, the, the title of the movie. Like, they don't have a title. They won't tell you the title of the movie at all. They'll just say, hey, it's a movie that's coming out uh, eventually on this service, right? So they're very hushed about it. And in this case, for my grandmother, they told her that it's a thriller. And that's all that they really said. Um, whoa, 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 all right, all right, your turn, I guess. Uh, it's a thriller movie. And so she did a little snooping around on the, in the production company, like in, in like their trucks and helping them unload and stuff. And like one of their boxes had a, had a script in it. And in the script said, some actors right and the one actor that that stood out to her and i know this could be controversial depending on who you are and all that but um it's cool nonetheless i i would say but the the um the actor or one of the actors is actually a pretty big name in this thriller movie that's kevin spacey so my grandmother is going to be in a movie 
in which Kevin Spacey is in. A thriller movie. So I thought that was kind of funny. She's going to be an extra. You know, she's going to be an extra. But I mean, even for like a movie extra, they're paying $200 a person just to be in a scene for a couple of hours. Dude, take Look the $200. Back. Absolutely, Look right? Do it. Be in a movie. Oh, look at you. It's kind of cool. You are good as new. Hey. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did not uh, miss Yeah, Mr. Mackey did not say to feed him cut or he didn't say he did say not to feed him cupcakes anymore. Uh, we're going to say that cuz I'm sure she, that's what she's been doing. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm. I suppose he's she was. right. She was. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Oh, her name's Mildred. Mortimer. Okay. So we got her full name, Mildred. All right, very good. Very nice. Love to see it. Achievement unlocked. Cat lover. There we go. So we just have two more. Oh, my God. So we just have two more um, houses that we need to go to here, and that will be that. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool, you know? So yesterday, I guess filming was supposed to be scheduled at 7 in the morning, so my grandmother had to be there at 7 in the morning um, to, in order to be in the film. So I personally am going to be looking out, because usually movie productions, they take about a year, two years. To fully fledge out before they come out right so i'm gonna be oh god what am i doing i'm gonna be looking out for this thriller with K K kevin spacey so um yeah we'll see what happens right and then once that comes out and you know i'm gonna have to watch it i'm gonna have to watch it to see where my uh you know where my grandmother's at and uh, that's gonna be fun but uh yeah there's also like the other thing like i said my mom had something that was filmed or being filmed and it wasn't a movie, per se. It was more of a documentary. Uh, but that was a Netflix documentary that I don't think is out yet. But that was about a year ago. So it should be coming out very soon, before you know it. So that's kind of fun. So I'm also st I'm still waiting for that documentary to come out to see uh, see our location and where... Um, yo! Jessifer, thank you for re up in your membership as a member of the channel. Really do appreciate that, Jessifer. Thank you. Da -da -da -da. Thank you so much. Uh, I just missed the road back there. We're going to throw a Yui here. All right. Now, I was looking on Twitter, and, like, I think uh, the people that made this game, they made a playlist of the radio, or the songs in the radio, on the radio in, th in this game. So you can actually, like, go to their Twitter, like, the, the company's Twitter. Uh, the publishers and all that and the devs. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's actually the official link, the game Twitter handle also. But um, yeah, I think they made a playlist of the songs. So if you wanted to listen to the songs or whatever on your own, in your own time, you can. And you know, I think the songs in this game are really good. I do enjoy them. They fit the they fit the game. And um, I <laughs> I don't want to compare the two because it's like unfair, right? But like Road 96, there's still some bangers in that song that I really enjoy. Definitely enjoy. So this route should be taking us to the Lumberjack Man, I think. Which, when we talked to the Lumberjack last time, he was, uh, it wasn't good news. So maybe he will enlighten us a little bit on what's going on here. Alright, so here we go. Pull on in. Oh, man. There he is. I forgot his name. All right, here we go. Hello, good man, good sir. I'm here to do deliver some mail to you. There's a face, I remember. Robert. Well, good morning, Mr. Harris. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Oh, no, what happened? Uh, more bull crap? <laughs> more bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh no, what? Um... Sounds like a great place to live though, that view. Uh, I grew up here, would hate to see it ruined. Um... 
You know what? Yeah, I would hate to see it ruined. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. That kind of goes back to like where I live. Up here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my father was a mailman before me. Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. <laughs> uh, okay. Nothing a chainsaw can't... Well, easy now, ma'am, partner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, can I help? I'm better with paper than chainsaws. I could say just like good luck with that, but you know, we'll, we'll offer a hand here. Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Okay. All right. Good day, Mr. Harris. Good day, Mr. Harris. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Oh, well, that Maybe was quick. You want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon, at Moe's, food and drinks on me. Uh, well, um, uh, you know what? Sure, why not? Food and drinks at Moe's, that, that sounds like a good time. Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. All right. Have you ever asked out your postman or postwoman? Postal worker is the right word by the way <laughs> uh no i i have never asked out my postal worker i've never asked an adult out in my entire life and you might be confused on that statement right you might be like what what are you talking about you never asked an adult out in your life it's true i've never asked an adult out on a date well i guess i've never asked an adult to yeah yeah i guess on a date right because even when Danielle were together, what the heck is going on here? Excuse me. Can I talk to this man? Metal detecting? Hey, partner. How are you doing? Oh, we can. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. Uh, any luck finding anything? Any luck finding something? Yeah, I've, I've found a couple of things. Uh, nail, penny, a soda can. Empty soda can. <laughs> Not the things you're looking for. Not the things you're looking for, I presume? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but I guess that's part of the fun. Saves me from disappointment as well. Hmm. I guess that's a good way to think about it. Um, I guess you wouldn't mind digging up a treasure. That's a nice way of thinking things. Yeah, that's a nice way of thinking things. That's a nice way of looking at things. Yeah, although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. That's also true, depending on the year, of course. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh, yes. Metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops. Did I just reveal the world's best kept secret? <laughs> I think I might pick up... <laughs> no worries. It's safe with me. <laughs> no worries. It's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. Uh, MDC? Your MDC? metal detecting club right we compare finds we discuss the hobby sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons buttons uh i think i'd wait for one of the huge gold nuggets wow outrageous uh could be good mm, could be good yeah yeah well nice meeting you it was nice to meet you too good luck that's interesting um the Metal Detecting Club kind of reminds me of um, when I used to work in, like, electronics. There used to be, and, you know, I'm not saying there it's, like, gone or extinct, but it's very, very slim margin now. Like, ham radio people, ham radio uh, clubs. It was, like, older, older generation ham radio clubs. But uh, any customers I had that were involving ham radios, uh, they were old. They were older. But, man, they were so passionate, and they loved, they loved the hobby. That's, I mean, that, that itself kind of uh, uh, reminded me of that. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I never asked an adult out on a date because Danielle and I have always been together as... Since we were... I don't want to say since we were children. But since we were like 14, 15 years old, right? Um, 
And I, I've talked to, oh, dude, it's September like 3rd. I almost forgot. September is actually the day as a child or as a teenager, I did ask Danielle to like ask her hand in, uh, and, and, and like, would you, would you like to be a couple? Like, would you like to be, would you like to try this out? <laughs> um, September will be 10 months, dude. Isn't that incredible? 10 months, or 10 months, I'm an idiot. No, it's not 10 months, I promise you. 10 years, dude, 10 years. September 19th of 2011 is the day that Danielle and I became a couple. So now fast forward 2021, September 19th, 2021, 10 years, dude. Isn't that incredible? So yeah, I've never really asked out an adult in my life, so I don't know how that all works. I've only known really only one person. And um, yeah, it's kind of special, right? I like to think it's kind of special. Anyways, um, so we're, all, we're done with the day today. Uh, our postal service is done. We're all done. Um, it was a good day. I would say it was a very good day. Now we do have a date or a, 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 a plan. I, I don't know. We have something going on with Angie tonight at five. So we're gonna find out what that is, which I'm kind of surprised that we're actually done at five. Well, we are in a small town. I was gonna say, if you're in a regular town, you're probably not getting done with postal work until like eight or 9 p.m. depending on the season, of course. But let's uh, let's go, I guess, see Angie, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? That's Weird Science. It's called Weird Science. There you go. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit, I figured you with your computer Is that background. Dennis Quaid in it? All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Monty's <laughs> Python? Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. I think that's on Netflix right Brian. now. <laughs> Both my two Mon you Monty know, Pythons. You don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Um, well... <laughs> I contain multitudes. I contain multitudes. I can uh, I can That's agree with Walt that. Walt Whitman, by the way. Not a movie, so I don't expect you to know. Ooh, touche returned. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Um, well, you know what? Um, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Uh, you know what? I would say it's complicated. Multiple reasons. Push and pull. And it's complicated. I love Multiple her sweater, reasons, by the way. I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Hey! Shout oh, out to LA. Really? Then, Shout out to yeah. Lancaster. Providence Oaks is pretty different. And Palmdale. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Uh, um, yeah, those are actually the two things I like best about it being here is because of that, yeah. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. Oh, okay. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Right. Look, it's a VCR in a box and it's portable <laughs> too, so you can take it to anyone. Uh That's the future of entertainment, baby. Wow. This is the future of entertainment. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay. Uh, um, what's the revenue model here? Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you. Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. This, Here, this. I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Uh, yeah, the mechanic girl, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? 
Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not Never exactly. seen it, to be honest. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's Jaws, for now. instant classic. If you're in, that is. So, you in? I'm, a I'm absolutely in. Yeah, I'm all for it. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Whoa. Now, do you have she any more me what? great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. She just called me babe. Um, I don't know. Does, do girls talk like that? Do, like, girls, like, friends, like, when they're friends, they call each other babe? I'm not... I'm not really into the, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not part of that life, like, where girls, girl chatter, I guess. I'm not, I've kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I've never, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know! I guess time flies when you're having fun. I guess time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, whoa, she's gone. Bye, babe. She did it again! Is that a thing that I don't know? I gotta ask Danielle that. I gotta ask Danielle. Is this mom and dad? Please not Steve. Hello? Hey, Meredith. There we go. Hey, dad, how's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? starting to love it actually yes I'm starting to love it being on the road the freedom the people that's great to hear Frank's quite the character huh Frank's quite the character indeed is he married that's uh, uh, uh well you know what let's not ask if he's married let's say he, he said you helped him out once he said you helped him out once uh, more than once well what can I say he likes baseball a bit too much. Uh oh. Did he, he bet on it? Bet every now and then. Yeah. Nothing too serious. <sighs> um, kind of like the poll, like, I think it was like Pete Rose scandal back in the. I don't even know when that was, but. Anyways, um. What about Burt Mackey? How's Mackey? And what about Burt Mackey? Burt. Uh, Burt doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Okay. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand by me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right I like in my it. Alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Awesome. Awesome. Very awesome. What a good episode this was. Um, do we work on the ad 87 material or do we stay home and watch TV or stay home and, and, and read a book? Um, you know what? Let's take a look here. Let's look at our agenda. Review the ad 87 documentation. Uh, meet with Robert tomorrow. Like, okay, I guess like work on it. Whatever. We'll see. Yo. All right, here we go. Friday, September 5th, on the morning. But uh, that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like. And I will see you in the next lake, because it seems like you guys really, really enjoyed this game. And I really enjoy it, too. And I want to see more of the story. Uh, but it's raining. Look at this. It's actually raining. So expect that for the next episode. But uh, other than that, dude, take care.